Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My dear students, welcome back to my new lecture. This lecture I will talk about hormones of median lobe. Uh, I talked in detail about the hormones of uh, this the pituitary gland. Uh, and this the anterior lobe, posterior lobe and here is the intermediate lobe. So I discussed in my previous lectures the hormones of anterior lobe as well as hormones of posterior lobe. Now I will talk about hormones of median lobe. Before going to talk about the hormones of this in intermediate lobe, let me uh, discuss one important type of cells uh, which are present in our skin as well as in our hair follicles. These cells are called melanocytes. As you know that our skin consists of three main layers, epidermis, hypodermis, below epidermis is hypodermis and below the hypodermis is, sorry, epidermis, dermis and hypodermis which consists of adipose tissue, this is the fatty layer. In between the epiderm epidermis and dermis, these special melanocyte cells are present and these are processed, processed cells, many cells extend from, many processes extend from them. So let's suppose this one melanocyte and this is another melanocyte and here is its nucleus. These melanocyte cells produce uh, one special protein which is called melanin. So this is the nucleus in the nucleus uh, special genes are present and these genes express and in response they produce a melanin pigment. This melanin pigment then scattered in the processes of these cells. So these are melanocytes cells Milano sites and they produce a pigment known as melanin in this melanin after its production it leaves these processes and scattered in the come to the surface of epidermis and occupy this area. And these melanin are of various color. This melanin pigment has various colors. Some of them are dark black and some are brown, some are dark brown, some are light dark. And <coughs> because of this reason, uh, our skin varies from each other. Uh, some skin is dark black, hota hai, kuch light uh, dark black, hota hai, kuch jo hai brown. Hota hai. So this is because that melanins are of various colors. And same as the case of the hair, kuch ke hair jo hai black hota hai, aur kuch jo hai brown. Hota hai. So this is also because of the color of melanin pigment. Now what is the main function of this melanin, fu melanin pigment? Its main function is to absorb UV rays, ultraviolet rays particularly of the sun. You know that ultraviolet rays can cause mutation. So <coughs> these melanin pigment, this melanin pigment, when they deposit here on the surface of the skin, it absorb UV rays and do not allow them to reach to the underlying cells. So this is the dermis and here are the cells of the dermis. So when sunlight fall on our skin, so these melanin pigment, it absorb these UV rays and do not allow them to reach to these cells because the UV rays here is the nucleus and UV rays, if UV rays reach to the nucleus, they may cause mutation in the DNA. So the main function of melanin is to absorb the UV rays and to protect our skin cells from the damaging effect of ultraviolet rays. Now, who stimulates the synthesis of or who enhances or who increases the synthesis of this melanin pigment? It is mainly a hormone which is produced by median lobe and that hormone is called MSH, melanocyte stimulating hormone. This MSH hormone when released by intermediate lobe, it act on these melanocyte cells, stimulate them, stimulate those genes 
or help in the production of those genes which are involved in the melanin pigment synthesis. So as a result, melanocytes start to produce more and more melanin, melanin pigment. Melanin are then released from the cell and <laughs> then scattered in the epidermis. Usually the skin then become dark black or black. Now, who stimulate the release of MSH? There are three main hormones which regulate or which increase or which stimulate its synthesis as well as its release. One <laughs> hormone is CRH from hypothalamus, corticotropin releasing hormone. Corticotropin releasing hormone act on the cells of intermediate lobe, stimulate them to produce MSH hormone. And now, how hypothalamus come to know that now I need to secrete CRH and should stimulate the cell which produce a message. When a person exposed to light, the person exposed by light code. So then the hypothalamus receive this light. Jab light ki intensity is jada hoti hai, doop jada hoti hai, aap doop mein jada pehte hai. I mean doop ko jab bandha hai, particularly exposed hoti hai. So hypothalamus detect the intensity of light with the help of eyes. Aap take naro se message pohunte hai, to hypothalamus jo hai, डिटेक्ट कर लेता है कि लाइट की इंटेंसिटी ज्यादा है मीन तो सिर्फ धूप ज्यादा है अल्ट्रावायलेट रेज ज्यादा है हाइपोथैलेमस स्टेव एक्टिवेट हो जाता है हाइपोथैलेमस इन रिस्पांस सीआर इन रिस्पांस सीआरएच हार्मोन रिलीज कर लेता है सीआरएच जो है फिर इन सेल को स्टिमुलेट कर लेता है ये एमएसएच प्रोड्यूस कर लेते हैं एमएसएच मेलानोसाइट सेल प्रोडक्ट कर लेते हैं मेलानोसाइट सेल प्रोड्यूस मोर मेलानिन पेगुन प्रोड्यूस कर लेते हैं और अल्ट्रावायलेट रेज के डैमेजिंग इफेक्ट से जो है स्किन जो है बचाने की कोशिश करता है इसलिए जब बंदा धूप को एक्सपोज होता है तो एक दो दिन में बंदी की स्किन ब्लैक हो जाती है क्यों ब्लैक हो जाती है क्योंकि मेलानिन की प्रोडक्शन ज्यादा हो जाती है मेलानोसाइड एमएसएच हार्मोन सीआरएच रिलीज हो जाता है सीआरएच एमएसएच रिलीज करता है इंटरमीडिएट लोब से एमएसएच जो है मेलानोसाइड सेल को स्टिमुलेट कर लेता है और मेलानिन पिगमेंट प्रोड्यूस हो जाते हैं इसलिए स्किन ब्लैक हो जाती है सो नाउ इन अदर टू हारमोन्स रेसेंट स्टडीज है टू अदर हारमोन ऑल्सो है स्टिमुलेटरी इफेक्ट and these and the cells of intermediate lobe to produce and secrete MSH these two hormones are estrogen plus progesterone estrogen B in hormone packed karte in cell packed karte intermediate lobe ke cell pe ko stimulate karte they in response produce MSH and MSH in response acts on these melanocyte cell stimulate them to produce melanin pigment this is the reason you know during pregnancy, estrogen and progesterone level are high. The pregnancy hoti hai, the female ke estrogen and progesterone level high hoti hai, wo uterus ko glandular rakhte hai, vascular rakhte hai, taake pregnancy maintain hai. Previous lecture mein baat ki thi, progesterone is very necessary for the maintenance of pregnancy. Agar progesterone nahi hoga, to jo vessels hai, uterus mein, wo shrink ho jate hai, to uski wajah se jo hai, blood supply decrease ho jati hai, to the uterus or fetus ko jo hai, proper nutrition nahi milta hai. Is liye jo hai, बाशन की भी चांस होते हैं बाशन अकर हो जाती है यूली सो प्रोजिस्ट्रॉन का लेवल इन शॉर्ट रिमेन हाई इन द प्रेगनेंसी सो प्रोजिस्ट्रॉन स्टिमुलेट दिस सेल दिस सेल प्रोड्यूस एमएसएच एंड एमएसएच एक्ट ऑन मेलानोसाइट प्रोड्यूस मेलानिन एंड दिस दिस इज द रीजन दैट ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी यूली द स्किन ऑफ द फीमेल इज ब्लैक उस पे पैचेस आ जाते हैं फेस पर भी और बाकी स्किन पर भी तो <coughs> क्योंकि प्रेगनेंसी के दौरान प्रोजिस्ट्रॉन का लेवल हाई होता है सो दिस वाज ऑल अबाउट hormone of intermediate lobe and next lecture I will talk about hormones of uh, thyroid gland let me just summarize it intermediate lobe which is a hormone uh, produced which uh, is called my name sorry MSH hormone this MSH which is a special cell which is called melanocyte cell and melanocyte cell then a response produced melanin pigment melanin then come to the surface of the skin due to which the skin usually become black or dark black or brown depends upon the color of the melanin now who stimulate msh secretion directly brain mean to say hypothalamus hypothalamus crh release which is crh act on <coughs> this cell to produce msh and another two hormone estrogen and progesterone also studies have shown particularly in birds that they act karte in, per, in cell per intermediate lobe cell per and this MSH hormone release kar lete. MSH which is melanocyte cell ko stimulate karta hai and melanocyte cell then response produce melanin therefore during pregnancy the skin of the woman the pregnant woman become usually black and usually this intermediate lobe 
it is highly developed in birds in some rodents to isliye jo birds jo hai arctic region mein rehte hain ye inke fur jo hai wo jab winter ho jata hai to winter mein iski jo hai msh ki secretion kam hoti hai to winter mein iske fur jo hai bilkul jo hai white ho jate hain aur jab summer ho jata hai to probably because of the uh, uh, effect of the sunlight तो ये मैसेज किस इस मैसेज की सिक्रेशन ज़्यादा हो जाती है समर में और इसलिए उनके फर का कलर फिर डार्क हो जाता है जो आर्कटिक रीजन में जो है रहते हैं जो रोडेंट भी रहते हैं आर्कटिक रीजन में आप गूगल में देख सकते हैं कि रोडेंट के कलर जो है सीजन के साथ वैरी करते हैं जब आ, समर होता है तो उनके कलर जो है ब्राउन से होते हैं और जब विंटर आ जाता है तो उनके कलर जो है बिल्कुल वाइट हो जाते हैं जिस तरह के बिल्कुल जहाँ पे आर्कटिक रीजन में तो स्नो ही रहती है तो बिल्कुल आप स्नो के साथ उनको डिटेक्ट ही नहीं कर सकते हैं सो so, क्योंकि उसके उनका फर कलर भी वाइट होता है सो क्लास फिनिश्ड इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर आई विल टॉक अबाउट हारमोन्स ऑफ थायराइड ग्लैंड